Today we'll see the final grand finale of Mouth to Mouth, a special program within uh, Legesso curated by Michael Gerard of Swans. The last band to go on before the Swans themselves are Wire, a band from the UK who's been around for decades now, uh, still releasing new material almost every year. And um, they're the, the guest of honor for Michael uh, Gerard, I think, tonight. Um, Colin Newman is here from uh, Wire. I heard you're preparing something to do together on stage. Um, yes, but not here. Not here. <laughs> not no. here, unfortunately. And uh, we didn't get the chance to prepare it because uh, there were delays and whatever, which is kind of a pity, but um, yes. Were there plans of doing it here as well? No, uh, it's something that we are... Uh, There's a strange thing. Um, uh, we, we have a festival of our own called Drill. Um, we're in early December, we're going to do the third edition of it, which is in Brighton, Drill Brighton. And um, uh, we, the original dates for it were actually this weekend. Mm. Um, and then we got a message from, from Michael saying, would we like to play the festival that, or the, you know, in the festival that he's curating? And um, we kind of thought about it. It's like, well, we're going to have to delay our festival. Uh, you already uh, invited them? No, but then I said, okay, if you, we'll swap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do yeah. yours if you do ours. Is there some kind of a connection between you guys? Because um, you've been around, both around for, for three decades. Um, and more. Not, not strong. I mean, I, I, Graham's known Michael for a while. Um, I think there's a, there's a sense, I mean, we have a lot of people in common. I mean, uh, really quite a lot of people in common who, who, who kind of know each other. And obviously, we don't, we don't exact, inhabit exactly the same world, but it's a similar kind of world. We're, we're, we're bands who, who have been around a while, but are still very much involved in the contemporary scene. And, you know, we don't trade too much of our past. I think that's what we have in common. Mm -hmm. How did it work back in the day? I mean, in the, in the early 80s when Swans were coming up, uh, there was a totally different world than now. You couldn't find new bands on the internet. Were you aware of bands like that or even the whole scene they were involved with? Um, no, I really didn't become aware of Swans until the late 80s. Okay. Um, and that was really through a friend who basically... Um, well, his opinion, which I suppose does connect Wire and Swans, is that uh, Swans were the best band um, to see live and why were the best band with singing <laughs> so the best band with singing with singing yeah. <laughs> so uh, but then he liked lots of instrumental music as well so i mean yeah. it's like uh i think i think uh, yeah I, I think i i suspect we have some some crossover in audience between mm. us i mean why can be quite sonic yeah it can be quite loud as you said, you, you have this festival called Drill Yourself, which yes. it, it's named after a song yes. by yourself. Um, if I understand it well, you're going to perform that song together with the Swans? Yes, that was the, the, but part of our Drill Festival is, that, and we've done it now, this is the third time, yeah. um, we've done it in London and Seattle. Um, part of our, our, our Drill Festival is that we have another band that we do the song Drill with. Yeah. That literally means us turning up at the end of their set and clam clambering on stage with them and just playing it together. Um, Why that song? Because, I mean, uh, you have done a lot with that song because you've already gone back to it, remixing yeah, yeah. it, reworking yeah, it, yeah. Uh, now calling your festival I after it. I think it's because it's easy. <laughs> it's only got one it's note. It's easy. Yes, yeah, only got one. I mean, the it's thing only is, got if you, one note. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you're going to do something with another band, I mean, don't try and make it too complicated, you know. Um, we already have, we do something with the song Pink Flag, which is also very simple, but we do like an orchestra. Mm. of invited guitarists to come and play on stage with us and and, and the drill thing is just another it's just another idea of uh, we did it in seattle with earth which was extraordinary um and, and that was completely unrehearsed actually um it's just a, it's just a kind of crazy it's a crazy wire idea let's just do that. what does the song mean to you guys yourself um well it's been in and out of the set it is actually in the current set which is kind of interesting it sort of came back because um, uh, we do a series called the Legal Bootleg Series, which is a series of, of, of mainly live recordings from different eras, which is um, available at, at sort of, it's all digital and it's really, really aimed at fans. I mean, it's not really not a mainstream thing at all. Um, and one of, the, one of the things in that series was, was a gig from Bloomsbury, right at the beginning when we started again in, in the late 80s. Mm. And... Um, 
uh, there was a version of drill in that, which was like how we played it when it, when it first came up. That was and before like, it came out. It was before it came out on a record or anything like that, and it was tiny. It was absolutely tiny. I thought, oh, that would be so interesting to just take it back to that, to that really, really small kind of beginning and then see where we go, because it got sort of very overblown in the latter part of the 80s. And um, so we that tried because it. it had several lives. Yeah, yes, it had many lives. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, um, and just playing it, the idea of, of saying, like, starting small and then keeping it, because it is just about one note, really. Um, it's, it's something, it's a kind of discipline, you know, it, 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 I, I, there's no way to kind of explain music. Mm. There's all, in a way, there's no, you know, wire, it's a, a very organic. It's um, the way that we, we kind of feel what's the right way to do the music. So, you know, you can say to anybody, well, it's just one note, but, you know. The swans know what to do with one note. The probably. swans They're... certainly do know what to do with yeah. one note. I mean, that's, it's a very apposite. Yeah. So you, so you have your own festival now. We're yes. living in a festival age. Um, yes. Do you feel at home in it? Ah, uh, well, that's a very, very... Oh, well, there's it's festivals and festivals. It's like, you know, how do you define a festival? I mean, there are, there are great festivals, there are OK festivals, and there are festivals that you probably don't want to talk about too much, you know. Mm. I, I tend to prefer things that are more along the lines of a city festival, um, which we're at right now, I guess, who is a city festival. Yeah. It's not about Utrecht, but it's about... It is, it's, it's across a city and in different venues. This one's very, very well organized and kind of it's because, you know, we're here in the Netherlands and it's going to be, I mean, yeah. I, mean I, I there's another city festival I know in Calgary, in Canada, which is completely crazy. But I, I can imagine at the same time, I mean, you guys are a band, you're regarded as still doing interesting stuff. At the same time, you're out here for almost four decades. That means that a lot of the summer festivals won't be interested in booking you just because they want new stuff. Yes, I mean it's always this is a problem, you know. What what can you do with that, you know? So, and some festivals, some festivals, some festivals do like to have us. I mean, Primavera is is, is one we've played a few times, um, but I know that. You know, I mean, they have, yeah, there is become a bit of a culture of festivals. I don't know how it works here in the Netherlands, but in Britain, where uh, those kind of summer festivals have become almost like a rite of passage for young people. They kind of go there and they take a lot of things and they probably don't really see any groups. And there's probably their first weekend away from home and they have a lot of fun, but it really isn't that much to do with music. You no. know, it's a different experience. Is doing interesting projects, collaborating with other people, creating your own events, is that the way to survive for WIRE at this moment? I think just just uh, trying to do the, what we want to do. We run our own label, um, we, we try and do the things that we want to do. I mean, they don't always work. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no guarantees in this world that anything works. So you just try, try and keep it interesting for yourself and try and make it so that it's interesting for an audience and I think we have to be I mean we're certainly not going to sell ourselves on our looks so or our youth so we have to be about the music so that's what it has to be about that kind of music and art that's what we kind of represent and so you're always going to be there's always going to be a percentage of the audience you're going to talk to I mean there's a lot of audience who probably wouldn't be interested in us because they just think we're too old or they don't identify with us because of that yeah I reckon you're going to have a good one tonight because I think it's going to be about the music tonight. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Colin. Well, thank you very much for having me. Cheers. Cheers.